if we go back to our copy file this is how it will look like great and all right i don't want to use this weird buttons in my final output so let's get rid of that first but before doing that we need to use some useful code from the buttons let me show you what that is and how we're going to use it all right so we're going to use this id get still and we go back to the card that we just copied from bootstrap that is right here and in here we will use a division called row justify content or you can just use a call md3 or a call lg3 and here I just use a button ptn dot ptn hyphen primary and we just use the ID that we just got from the get still button and we will also add a text center class to make the button centered and since we have this get still button already it's time to get rid of that and here you cannot just uh, hide this complete section but you can actually get rid of this whole code I'll tell you the reason what happens if you don't do that first let me complete the stream button so that I can explain you in clear So this is my start stream button and I add my ID to stream. Alright, now is the perfect time to get rid of this one. We need to delete this one. If we don't do that, since the code still exists in the hidden mode, there are two different elements with the same ID, which is not recommended in the web development. And I guess we still have to fix this black color. If we fix that, we're pretty much done with this project. I mean, this tutorial. All right, so I just need to hide this navigation. All right, so it's right here display none all right perfect so this is what we wanted to build and this is what we built so in this tutorial we checked how to just a moment all right so when I make the browser to full mode full screen I just found a small error which I'm going to fix right now so here I just want to make this one text center and with that we are pretty much done in this tutorial so in this tutorial we've checked how to edit the code from the ESP32CAM source code and also we made the page look a little bit better than we had before in the ESP32 cam. So in the next tutorial, I will show you how you can upload this complete code back to the ESP32 cam homepage. And also, I will show you how you can add the TensorFlow.js image recognition to it. It's gonna be very interesting. If you like this video, please wait for my video next week. Until then, see you soon, bye-bye.